AMC just recorded its highest earning weekend of 2024 this weekend, and I do believe AMC and GME stock are setting up for a huge move. But before I do get into why I believe that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, because I do update you guys on AMC and GME stock every single day. So today, AMC only closed down by one penny, and it was green throughout the majority of the day. It did go a little down towards the end. We hit a low of $5.11, and in the morning, we were trading as high as $5.30 for AMC. So we were green for the majority of the day. Pretty good to see. There was 13 million shares of AMC traded today, so the volume is slowly starting to die down for AMC. For GameStop, the volume has just been extremely low, and we did have another red day today. GameStop did close down 2% at $23.60, but we have not broken below Roaring Kitty's average price so far right now. We're just trading above Roaring Kitty's average price. None of this is financial advice, and I'm not telling anyone to buy, sell, or hold, but it really is looking like the 2021 chart for GameStop, and I do believe a huge reversal is coming up for GameStop. The biggest reversals happen when there's low volume, and since GameStop is holding this level at $23 and $24, on low volume, it is extremely bullish. It is showing that not a lot of people are selling. Now, Deadpool and Wolverine raising almost half a billion dollars in its opening weekend is insane and off this news sinmark was up two and a half percent today it was green throughout the whole day unlike amc just take a look at that amc down only by one penny but it doesn't make sense that it's still red when we just received the best news that we've received all year i really do believe this is linked to gamestop stock and that both of these stocks are just shorted like crazy by these criminal sick bastards that are gonna burn in hell. And they are slowly gonna be sentenced to hell one by one, and once that happens, we will see these stocks squeeze. So Adam Aaron did make this post today. He posted this at nine in the morning. He said, all hail Disney as AMC keeps setting records. AMC's highest weekend, Thursday to Sunday, for attendance, admissions revenue, food and beverage revenue, and merchandise sales of 2024. Thanks to Deadpool and Wolverine, 6 million guests graced our AMC theaters and Odeon cinemas. So my AMC theater was absolutely packed on Saturday. I've never seen the parking lot that packed ever, and it is showing in the box office. You know, a lot of people are going to the movies. A lot of people are going to AMC. AMC just set some insane records over the past couple of days, and I don't think it is going to end here. I think the box office is barely starting to come back because now there's just a bunch of movies coming, and it's going to be a nonstop train, a train that cannot be stopped by no shorts, no criminal bastards. They're gonna have to sell at a loss one way or another because now they're locked in with the apes. Now they're locked in with the bulls. So I did make this post on Twitter today. If you haven't followed me on X, make sure to go follow me there. My username is Mikey's underscore money. I said AMC down 90% in the past year. Got a lot more room to go up than to go down. So AMC did release this document today, July 29th. It said AMC Entertainment posts its highest weekend attendance and admissions revenue of 2024 in the US and globally, and its highest weekend for food and beverage revenue in the US since 2019. So it just had its highest weekend for food and beverage revenue. Since 2019, guys, since before the pandemic, this hasn't happened. The box office is starting to come back. The movies are freaking back. They're making billions of dollars, and this has not been reflected on AMC stock yet. I do believe it is going to show on AMC stock. We just have to give it more time, guys. So Inside Out 2 has already passed $1.5 billion worldwide and is now the 12th highest grossing film of all time. This is all happening in 2024, guys. Despicable me 4 is almost going to cross a billion dollars. Inside Out 2, already 1.5 billion. Deadpool and Wolverine, it could be the highest grossing rated R film of all time. It already grossed, I believe, over half a billion dollars as of today, which is freaking insane. Insane, just breaking records every other week at AMC. It's crazy. And when you look at AMC stock, you know, being down 90% over the past year, it doesn't make sense because the box office is only getting better. The past couple of quarters, AMC was at rock bottom when it was trading at two dollars and fifty cents from two dollars and fifty cents amc stock is already up over a hundred percent and there is no sign that this is going to stop anytime soon not with the recovering box office not when amc is down 90 percent in the past year we could see this stock freaking skyrocket so this guy said breaking gamestop news andrew no money left has already surrendered so this article says short seller andrew left 
surrenders on securities fraud charges in LA due in court. So this sick bastard, this short seller that was on CNBC, on the news, is facing some serious criminal charges for short selling. The SEC has sued him and he is going to rat a bunch of people out because that's just the type of guy he is. He's a sick bastard that's going to be sentenced to hell for eternity. First prison, then hell. And the only way he's probably going to get out maybe in 30, 40 years if he's lucky is if he starts ratting people out and that's exactly what he's going to do. So hopefully we do see the SEC start suing more people like this sick bastard that'll be extremely good to see and maybe the day will come where amc and gme aren't manipulated by these criminal sick bastards this guy said gme reminder the roaring kitty's average price is at 23 dollars and 41 cents honestly if the price does go below that i am looking into buying more call options on gamestop tripling down Ponky style because it's about to go freaking down, you know, $23.41 right there, 19 cents away from where we close that today. I really do believe a huge move is coming for GameStop. Extremely low volume. And just look at Ryan Cohen's profile picture. He changed his bio to she, her, hers. And I really do believe he's just trolling and trying to give us a hint, trying to signal to us that a big transformation is coming to GameStop. I don't know what it could possibly be, but they do have over $4 billion in cash. So once a huge announcement comes out, we already got a huge announcement with AMC. I do believe GameStop is next. And when this announcement comes out, we could see GameStop just fly in one night, pre-market, after hours. It could happen within an hour, guys. And I really do believe there is going to be a third massive move. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe. Today was a bloody red day for GameStop. You know, AMC only down one penny. So it is holding the line right there at $5.20. And I do believe AMC and GME stock are going to have a huge green day very soon. But I will keep you guys updated on what happens with AMC and GME stock. So make sure to stay tuned on my channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video as y'all know I'm buying the dip Here we go. Come on. Push it. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Here we go.